For yacht and speed lovers, this is one of the most extraordinary yachts that naval architecture has delivered to us so far. Are you ready for a unique experience? We'll bring you on board Pershing GTX 116. With 35 meters in length, it is the flagship of the new GTX range. Despite her size, a 7 meter beam and a displacement of 150 tons fully loaded, she does not give up performance, which in a moment we will see. To me, the external lines are a combination of aviation and naval style from another era which has been reinterpreted as a futuristic key to excite us even as we look at her from a distance. She is revolutionary, a new and very strong ambassador for the brand's DNA, which has always been characterized by performance and sportiness. What's more, outside there are wide open spaces in contact with the sea. Inside, furniture in line with the perfect disruptive style of the profile. The project is the result of the inexhaustible creative vein of Fulvio Di Simone and his studio, Ferretti Group's Strategic Development Committee and the group's engineering department. The colour, which is Monte Carlo grey, seems to recall the GT vintage cars. The structure is a combination of fibreglass and carbon because speed needs lightness. Let's take a look at some special details, such as the visor over the windshield. And the grill for the engine room intake. The aft area is extraordinary. It is on three levels. The swim platform is just above the water. Next to it, a little higher, there is a sun deck area separated by gunwales, which move to give space to a beach club accessible also during navigation. This super yacht has been conceived to be lived outdoor, not only on the lower deck, thanks to its numerous transformations, but also here in the cockpit, which is very wide. The cockpit is a panoramic area with dining table, living area and bar. A garage houses a jet tender up to 5.2 meters in length and a jet ski. On the bulwark, there is a crane to move the water toys, and it's camouflaged with the same colour as the hull. Down here we have a huge jacuzzi, but this forward area can be arranged also in a different way. Two stairs, which are integrated in the superstructure, connect the main deck with the sport bridge. The fly is over 40 square metres, partly covered by a T-top in whose base a bar with related counter and seating have been integrated. On the fly, the helm station can have up to three sporty seating. Toward the stern, the dining area with tables, sofas and sun pads. Entering the salon, there is a wide living area, furnished with armchairs, sofa and footstool. The view widens when the four meter long balcony opens. A 
Standing out on this balcony is crazy. Even more extraordinary is seeing the sea below. From the outside, this yacht looks symmetric, but actually, on the bridge, there is just the port passway. The windows make this area look even wider. Fulvio Di Simone Yacht Design has designed ultra-modern interiors, alternating dark vertical elements with ceilings and tops in light shades. Eucalyptus wood panels were carefully cut and selected to obtain 45-degree specular veins. Big names have contributed to this decor. The dining table can seat up to 10 people. The galley can be opened or closed completely and communicates directly with the bridge deck, crew area and bow. On the lower deck, there are five cabins, and one of these can be converted into a different environment for convivial use. The owner's cabin is more than twice the size of the other cabins. It spreads from one bulwark to the other, leaving plenty of space around the bed, which is in an almost central position. This is the owner's apartment. Just think that it is seven meters wide and the bathroom is just as wide. There is a lot of volume dedicated to the closet. Then there is a vanity, which is also used as a desk and furniture on both sides. Nothing is left to chance. This opening gives us more convenient access to the closet. The master bathroom has two identical areas, both with wash basin and toilets, which are connected by the space dedicated to the shower. In the hallway between the cabins, a technical cabinet for home automation. There are four more cabins for the guests, two doubles and two twins. Each of them has a private bathroom. There is a sixth bathroom on the mezzanine level. In the forward sections there are the crew areas with dinette, laundry room and three cabins, two twins for the crew and a single for the captain. This is the bridge deck of the Pershing GTX 116, equipped with three MAN V12 engines with 2,000 horsepower each and three Kongsberg Kamua water jet propulsions. We can see them there on the monitor, but also here on the helm seating, which I would define as out of this world. We are going to test it in manoeuvres right away, so as to see what water jets can do on a yacht of this size, 35 metres. You can just rotate the command, the starboard one, on which both engines are reported. It rotates in the space of a length.
per fermare la rotazione si riporta To stop the rotation, you can return the controls to the center position and the propulsion system has been calibrated so that when the control is in the center, the boat remains stationary in place. The boat, well, the yacht. L'imbarcazione, la nave. Avete visto la plancia di comando? Have you seen the dashboard? Two 57-inch displays on which all the navigation data are displayed. We started navigating. All three engines are running, but right now only the two side water jets are engaged, the steering ones. Now it's time to gear up the middle one as well, because we have also passed 1,000 RPM. That's it. The middle engine has also synchronized with the others. And now, let's go. My goodness, guys, what a total silence. Crazy. The feeling of touching this control is incredible. As soon as you move it, almost imperceptibly, it changes course, but with absolute softness and gentle touch. Having a 35 meter within your hands and in just one throttle, it's wonderful. The engines are always synchronized. We're at 14 knots, 1,550 RPM. Obviously, we could also use the steering wheel, but I prefer this way of steering, which is more professional. Gently, progressively, we have brought the engines over 1,900 RPM and the speed reached 20 knots. We are navigating in the waters in front of Cannes in absolute silence. I've not yet perceived a vibration. We saw her maneuverability while maneuvering but navigating at 30 knots. Pay attention. Let's make a full veer. Let's see what happens. It's wonderful. Clearly, when veering, you lose some speed, but it's more than normal. I don't want to wait anymore. Full throttle. This way of navigating is really amazing. Certainly, it's due to this type of construction, to the installations, and also the type of propulsion. Pershing GTX 116, maximum speed 35 knots. This is the most extraordinary navigating experience I've ever experienced. <laughs>